Hi, Liz Larson here, back with the Art of Frosting and some cake decorating basics. Today we're going to address Easter and some figure piping. We're going to make a really fun, happy Easter cake with lots of different aspects to it. We're going to use a little bit of not airbrush, the color mists from Wilton as um, an alternate to airbrush and we're going to use some do some borders and some figure piping so lots to do let's get started I'm starting with a 10 inch round this is a single layer that I've torted to get these uh, to get the height so torting means that I just um, cut it in three layers one layer to three layers and filled so I've got two layers of filling in three layers of cake to get this size of cake it's great for this design but I'm going to put this aside for just a second to show you what we're going to do for the first treatment. And what I've got here is just a plain piece of parchment. And I have drawn a couple of stencils. So with this one, it's just a, you know, a round shape. So this is going to kind of be the base, our hills. And I've cut some clouds. Now I'm actually going to cut this in half because that's the way I like to use it but you can keep it this way. So, and today I'm doing something different. I don't think I've ever done this before, but I actually want to show you guys how to use these color mist cans. I normally use an airbrush, but when I've used the airbrush and the silk screen, I got a lot of comments about that, you know, people who don't have them. So I want to show you how to use these for this project. So for a stencil, I want to start with the clouds and I want to block off the bottom where I'm going to put the green down here. It will help me get right up close to that with my clouds. And I want to start up high and we're going to spray, you know, maybe, what do you say, six inches away and just very lightly, real delicate touch back and forth like that. See how you get a cloud design and you can use either. And basically what you do is you just move across your design and down. And you see I'm spraying at an angle here, not directly on top, at an angle. So I'm just lightly getting the edges there. I wanna come down and spray right here where my green's gonna go, and just a little bit heavier. Okay, so you can see I've got a little cloud and then come back in and use my green. And I want to start at the base because I don't know how this is going to spray. So I'm going to start here and just lightly move up. As I get up, I want to move closer in. I'm going to bubble just a little bit on my parchment here. And it's actually spitting a little, but that's okay because we're going to put eggs and grass and this is, um, you know, kind of a hillside. So that's basically what we're going to do on our cake. I want to show you this too. Um, instead of a silk screen, this is Tool, T-U-L-E. You can just buy it at any fabric store and you can just lay it over lightly on your cake and it'll keep your stencils from sticking. You don't necessarily have to do um, this step, but it will keep you from getting um, anything stuck on the top of your cake. So I'm just going to lay my uh, paper down here, like about like that, and then just start my stencil. Now the tool will give you, uh, you will see that just a little bit, um, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and take it off and show you how to do it that way too. With this parchment is a little bit waxed and it really doesn't stick, but it's up to you how much you want to protect the surface of your cake. We've got our clouds. Now we really don't have as much control and you can see that one to stick a little bit there. See, it gave me some texture. I'm okay with that, but I think I would have liked it better with the tool on there. Yikes, this is really splattery, guys. Okay, before we move on, I wanna show you one more step that I wanna do before we put our bunny rat of it on top. Make sure you really shake these. I think that'll help us get a little less splatter. And if you can see here, I wanna be able to move my turntable and not have to move my spray around. I'm gonna to start to spray and turn my turntable quickly. I want to aim towards the base. And I just want to get a little color down there at the base. 
you want a little more, you can go one time around more. But that's really all I want. I'm going to start with the bunny's body. And I am using a number 12 uh, figure piping tip. And I want to start right about here. I want him in the center of the cake. He's quite large, but and his feet are going to go down here. So I'm just going to start below my grass line. Now he needs to have a big fat body. So I'm just turning my wrist slightly, squeezing lightly, and you can see the tip of the bag is down in. That's how I'm going to get my big fatness here. Now I'm going to start to move upward. Continuing on, light a little bit lighter pressure and up into a C shape into about a point like that. Next, I want to put on his head. I'm going to start here right at the point. Now my angle is straight up and down before we were, you know, maybe about at a 45. I want his head to be nice and big. Again, the tip is down in and I'm just rotating slightly. I want a nice big head, more like a baby. Okay. Next, I'm going to turn this around so my angle is better, and this is what you would do too. So you're towards yourself. We want to our foot in the back. This one's a little bit tricky to remember how to do, but we want an up and then up again and a big foot. Next, we want a big leg this way. We're going to go around and around with the tip down in like that. Now we're going to wait to do his foot. We have an arm that is just kind of an L shape like that. Another arm that comes out and up like this. We want him to wave with a little pop. The ears start back here and we want him to kind of be waving in the wind. So slimmer and then a big fat end like that, and another one about like that. While we're here, two big round cheeks, just smaller versions of the head, and we're going to put his teeth, just a squeeze here and up, and his eyes, we're going to put those on about like a, a shell. We want them to be look just a little cross-eyed, so just a squeeze and release, angling towards his nose, and we're going to give him just a little nose. Okay, while we're here, we want his cotton tail, just a rotate of the wrist. Turn it around so you can get a better view here. It's going to be a little harder for me. I hope you can get a good angle. We want him to have a heel and a big foot, about like that. So now I've got just a little bit of black piping gel with a number four writing tip in, and you can just use black icing if you wish. And so that I'm not in your way, I'll just show you this side of his face. We just wanna pipe around his eye, like this. And then we're gonna come back up this way. We're going to have him looking upward like that. Let's see if I can get this one too. Come around. Um, you see I'm using kind of a drop technique and give him a little triangular shaped nose. Really trying hard to keep the bag out of the camera here so sorry about my angles. Fill that in. And then come back in here and give him a nice big smile. Just follow the line of his cheek over his teeth. You want to outline the teeth just a little. There we go. And a couple of whiskers. No, I like him to have eyebrows. You don't have to. But I think it's a little bit funny to have him have one eyebrow up. Like he's up, up to a little bit of mischief there. 
There we go. Also, you can come in and give him three little dots for toes. Okay, I want to come in and I want to give him a little bit of pink up the bottom side of his ear, just under to where the ear turns over. I like to put my borders on before I do any more decoration because a lot of times I will like to put things on the border. So I'm just going to do a real simple e-motion. Now if you guys haven't seen this before, I will um, link the border video to the end. I just have a number 23 pastry star tip. Pastry tips are just a little bit larger uh, tip, but so just an e-motion, one, two, three, and then I'm going to drag it out. For the bottom border, I'm going to use just a little reverse shell like this and a large C. So for the next layer, I just have a pastry bag here, just a parchment with just a tiny bit of the tip cut on, cut off and a little bit of, of light green. And I just want to add some grass in. So I'm just going to pull, you know, give a squeeze and a quick release. Squeeze, let go and release will give me my point like that. And I just kind of want to put it at different levels here. We're going to put some nice, um, Easter eggs in and a few flowers and it's okay to get on his foot here a little bit if you want to. So just here and there some grass. Then I'm going to put some stems on the side. Just come right up like that and right out like that. So a stem and kind of a leaf. And we're going to put those all the way around between our large um, seashells here. See, I'm not too worried about the splatter over because we're going to put some flowers. And if you have a little bit of sprinkles, you can put some spring colored sprinkles in. So just all the way around. So remember that bag that we had for the pink in the ears? We're just going to use that. And I'm just going to make a little dot flower. So it's just five dots in a circle. Like that. I just want to add three of these little flowers to the top just for balance. But we're going to have lots of other things here. So just so that I have a little splash of the pink on top, I'm just going to add three. Okay, this cake could be done right here, but you guys know me. I always need to add a little bit more. So I'm just going to add some of these Easter eggs in. These are um, some of the malt ball Easter eggs, but any of the Easter candy would be great. And if you had some space, you could put them around the bottom too, but this cake's pretty full. So this is our finished product, our bright and colorful Easter bunny cake. You can see there's a lot going on here, but that's what happens at Easter. Lots of fun, bright colors, spring bursting out all over. Like with most of my designs, or all of my designs really, you can add as much of this or as little as you want. One more thing I wanted to point out, that if you wanted to put Happy Easter or some writing, you would want to move your bunny to one side or make him a little bit smaller. For this, there's a lot going on. I think everybody knows it's Easter. So I wanted to say thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a good time learning the various designs that we did here. There'll be a little bit more on my blog at www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com. Please subscribe. It's free. You'll get all the updates, all the latest <laughs> videos, and everything else that there is to see on our channel. And like us and share, that helps out a lot. Lots more to come, see you guys all again soon. Thanks a lot.